Saint Porphyrius is Gaza's oldest active church. It is also one of the oldest in the world and the only Greek Orthodox church in Gaza. Now, parts of it are rubble. And some fear Israel's war on Gaza may also signal the start of its end as a Christian place of worship and sanctuary for others. Remember, this is one of the oldest uh, Christian communities in the whole world. Um, we have only 1,000 Christians, less than 1,000 Christians left in Gaza. And now we fear this will be the last generation, the last age for this church. And this is very, very sad. The church is named after Saint Porphyrius, a Christian bishop who came to Gaza to fight paganism and shepherd Christians 1,600 years ago. The first church was built on this site, where he is believed to be buried, around 425 AD. In the 12th century, Crusaders built a larger church here and named it after the saint. It was renovated in the middle of the 19th century, adding most elements that were visible before Thursday's attack. It's one the landmark uh, of, of the Christian history. It's very known to be, to be a place where people worship uh, and go even for tourism to, to see it, to watch it, its architecture and its composition. The church has opened its doors to refugees from Gaza before. In 2014, around 2,000 sheltered there for days to escape Israeli bombardment. And like then, today the church is promising to keep its doors open to anyone in need. By blessing of God, we have to continue our life in Gaza as a Christian community. Dimitri Medvedenko, Al Jazeera.